today i am going to discuss halogenation in phenol in this lesson we are going to learn reaction and definition of halogenation and then mechanism of halogenation so let's get started firstly halogenation reaction of phenol and definition of halogenation let's look at the matter this is phenol hydroxyl group is a kind of electron donating group here hydroxyl group through positive mesomeric effect increases electron density at ortho positions and at para position so hydroxyl group is a kind of electron donating group or it is benzene ring activating group or hydroxyl group is a kind of ortho para directing group towards electrophile when phenol is treated with bromine solution in carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride then bromine molecule produces bromine cation interacting with phenol this bromine cation attacks the ortho position to form ortho bromophenol again another bromine cation attacks para position of another phenol molecule to form para bromophenol and from ortho position hydrogen atom goes out as electrophile and from para position another hydrogen atom goes out as electrophile and bromine cation combines with phenyl group with benzene ring so cations combine with benzene ring and from benzene ring hydrogen atoms go out as electrophile so it's a kind of electrophilic substitution reaction when these two hydrogen atoms go out as electrophiles these two electrophiles combine with bromide ion produced from bromine molecule this proton and bromide ion form hydrogen bromide which is a kind of by product in the reaction so here phenol reacting with bromine solution here solvent is carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride then the products are ortho bromophenol and para bromophenol and hydrogen bromide is formed as by product here this is used as solvent carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride which is non polar solvent both carbon disulfide and carbon tetrachloride are non polar solvents again when phenol is treated with bromine solution in water aqua aqua means water then bromine cation produced from bromine molecule this bromine cation will attack ortho position and para position to form this compound phenol here bromine cation produced from bromine molecule this cation will attack ortho para and these ortho positions at a time that is here bromine cation here bromine cation here bromine cation as well so when instead of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride water is used as solvent with bromine then 246 tribromophenol is produced and 
hydrogen bromide is formed as by product here because of the presence of aqua that is water 246 tribromophenol is produced instead of orthobromophenol and parabromophenol so here water plays an important role now we have to know how bromine cation is formed this is number one formation of bromine cation and number two role of water this is to be known now let's see what is the definition of halogenation here bromination when one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced from an organic compound like benzene by halogen atoms like bromine then the reaction is known as bromination so here bromination occurs of phenol in presence of bromine solution in carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride and in presence of bromine solution with aqua now let's try to know why bromine solution in presence of carbon disulfide produces orthobromophenol and parabromophenol from phenol and bromine solution in presence of water produces 246 tribromophenol from phenol this is yellowish white precipitate 246 tribromophenol now let's try to know formation of bromine cation and role of water let's see the matter at the next step that is mechanism of bromination mechanism of bromination let's see phenol bromine solution in carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride here the products are orthobromophenol and parabromophenol hydrogen bromide is formed as byproduct let's see the mechanism here formation of bromine cation when bromine molecule comes closer to phenol then electron electron repulsion occurs here electron electron repulsion occurs here as a result this bond undergoes a heterolytic fission and from bromine molecule bromine cation and bromide ion are formed so here when bromine molecule comes in close contact with phenol then repulsion between pi bonded electrons and covalently bonded electrons of bromine molecule repulsion occurs due to the repulsion bromine molecule undergoes heterolytic fission and as a result bromine cation and bromide ion are formed now this bromine cation combines with phenol hydroxyl group increases electron density at ortho position and at para position so the compounds are when it attacks para position then we get para bromophenol and when this bromine cation attacks this ortho position then we get ortho bromophenol and hydrogen atoms from ortho position and para position goes out as electrophile so two 
hydrogen atoms as electrophile this is step number two this is step number one this is two and this is three this hydrogen ion cation combine with bromide ion to form hydrogen bromide which is produced as byproduct so first of all interaction between phenol and bromine molecule produces bromine cation and bromide ion this bromine cation attacks phenol at ortho position and para position to form ortho bromophenol and para bromophenol and from ortho position and from para position two hydrogen atoms go out as electrophile proton this two proton combines with two bromide ions to form two hydrogen bromide molecules this is the way in which bromination occurs in phenol in presence of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride here carbon disulfide electronegativity of carbon is 2.5 sulfur 2.5 as well 2.5 so no polarity occurs in carbon disulfide that is carbon disulfide is a kind of non-polar molecule here dipole moment of carbon disulfide is zero similarly carbon tetrachloride this is also non-polar molecule though electronegativity of chlorine is 3.0 carbon 2.5 all the bonds are polar but dipole moments of all bonds cancel each other so ultimately the molecule becomes non-polar that is dipole moment is zero so here special characteristic of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride is these solvents are non-polar actually this non-polarity is the difference from water now let's see mechanism of the second reaction the reaction is phenol bromine solution with water then bromine reacts with phenol to form Two, four, six. Try bromophenol, which is yellowish white precipitate, and hydrogen bromide is formed as byproduct. Let's see mechanism of the reaction. That is, when aqueous solution of bromine is used instead of bromine solution. in carbon disulfide then we are getting 246 tribromophenol instead of orthobromophenol and parabromophenol what is the reason behind this that is what a role plays this water let's see phenol here electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 hydrogen is 2.1 because of the higher electronegativity of oxygen oxygen gets partially negatively charged and hydrogen gets partially positively charged because of this positive charge water molecule which is polar in nature hydrogen is positively charged and oxygen is negatively charged because electronegativity of oxygen is higher than hydrogen 
because of its higher electronegativity electron cloud moves towards oxygen and as a result around oxygen electron density increases now repulsion between this electron cloud and covalently bonded electron cloud between hydrogen and oxygen and this electron cloud here repulsion occurs due to the repulsion between this electron cloud and this electron cloud electron cloud of oxygen of water molecule because here water molecule is a kind of polar molecule because of this polarity this repulsion occurs so this is the main role of water here and due to the repulsion these electrons move towards oxygen and ultimately this hydroxyl group increases electron density in benzene ring that is ortho and para positions get electronically rich which is higher compared to phenol when bromine solution in carbon disulfide is used because carbon disulfide cannot affect the hydroxyl group in phenol but water affects the hydroxyl group and as a result this hydroxyl group because of the presence of water increases electron density at ortho and para positions which is higher than this phenol when bromine solution in carbon disulfide is used so this is the main role of water that increases electron density in benzene ring at ortho and para positions that is here because of the higher electron density bromine cation attacks ortho positions and para position at a time because of the higher electron density and as a result this compound is formed 2 4 6 tribromophenol here simply water increases electron density in benzene ring at ortho and para positions because of the higher electron density it becomes more reactive towards electrophile that is why 246 tribromophenol is formed and from this ortho and para positions three hydrogen atoms go out as electrophile these hydrogen atoms these electrophiles combine with this bromide ion which is produced from bromine molecule to form three hydrogen bromide hydrogen bromide which is by product in the reaction so in hydroxyl group water plays an important role that is here electron electron repulsion is created because of this repulsion due to the presence of water hydroxyl group donates electrons to the benzene ring in high amount that is why electron density increases at ortho and para positions that is reactivity increases in phenol when bromine solution in presence of water is used because of the higher reactivity 246 tribromophenol is produced here let's see removal of hydrogen as electrophile hydrogen when bromine cation attacks this carbon then we get this compound phenol hydrogen here bromine 
as this is bromine cation positive charge is created inside the benzene ring which is called sigma complex electrons of carbon hydrogen bond move towards benzene to diminish this positive charge to vanish this positive charge and at the time this hydrogen gets freed as proton so we get phenol bromine and hydrogen as cation so this is the mechanism of bromination this is all about halogenation in phenol now today thank you very much